And they said, because there's one case here, they said any kids who aren't immunised shouldn't be coming to school? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's the safest decision. Yeah. yeah. But apparently some of them did still turn up today. Oh, I hope not. But yeah, I can't control anyone else's parenting. Yeah. Yeah. Just my own. So. If your kids were not immunised for whatever reason, would you oh, bring them yes. along? Yeah, I'd take them straight to the doctors and just wait there until they got their shots. Yeah. Yeah. And how are you feeling about it all? Nervous, because there's small children out there that haven't, aren't old enough to have it. So. Are you guys worried about it at all? I am, because I have an autoimmune disease and I can't be immune to it, so I'm a little worried. She's not going to preschool at the moment because of it, even though she is immune. Yeah. I'm not going into a preschool to spread it or anything, so we will stay home and keep our trip short yeah. and yeah. it'll pass hopefully. Yeah they've asked for, um, there's a handful of kids who aren't immunised at this school and they've asked for them to um, be you know, kept at home but apparently some did turn up today. It's parents choice I guess, they sh don't need to miss out on education but we need to keep our children safe as well, it's each to their own and I think you can't make people do what you want and we just have to wait till it goes through and hope that we are all okay, which I'm sure we will be. And so you can't, you can't get the vaccine? I've had it five times, it does not work. It doesn't work. Every baby I've had, I've had another one, it does not work. And I have an autoimmune disease, puts me at higher risk, but... It puts you at higher risk of...? Catching it, because I don't have an immune system. So, yeah. But and it, So even with the vaccine, it wouldn't make a difference? Uh, the vaccines don't work on me. I've had it five times, it doesn't work. So, yeah. So you're extra cautious? Yeah, a little bit at the moment. Just yeah. you, It's mainly spreading it. I have friends that have small babies, you know. It's just about keeping it contained, I think. So if we can do that by stop going public places, then we will. I won't send her to preschool until all the children have had their vaccine, so I know I'm not going to pass it on to any child that's there. So, yeah, yeah. But I don't mind getting it. I would mind passing it. So. Yeah, yeah for sure. And so you got your daughter's preschool, and how many you got at the school? One. Well, at the One school. here too. Yeah, right. So yeah, I'm going to try, try not to come in here too much either. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. um, well, I personally don't think it makes a huge difference if you've been vaccinated or not, to be honest. You can still catch it. Yeah. Um, it's just the exposure, really. So um, I don't think anyone should be sent home because they haven't decided to do that. Yeah. Right, right. Your kids have been vaccinated? Yes, they have. And my daughter also had the measles at 12 months before she had her MMR injections, and uh, she got through that quite fine. Yeah. So are you guys going to go for the booster shots that they're asking people to um, go and get? Well, as far as I know, there aren't any available in Rangiora anyway. Yeah. So, um, but no, most of my children are up to date with their vaccinations. I've still got one that's three and a half years old, so he hasn't had the second one, but we'll just keep a close eye on him. <laughs> and so, um, any plans once the vaccines do get here to, to go, get, go down there and, and get vaccinated? Uh, personally, myself, I'm against vaccinations, but um, my partner and I decided we just decided that was best for our children. Being in such a close community as we are these days, we're not all at home on the farm anymore. Um, but I think, yeah, just quarantining your children at home is the best option if you have any concerns. Yeah. Have you been vaccinated? Uh, yes, as far as I know. My yeah. mother vaccinated me. <laughs> but I also, back when we were children, we didn't have it till we were 11. And I remember my brother and I having measles and mumps at about nine. So, yeah, and we survived. So we're fine. Right. <laughs> so you're, you're not too worried? Immunity is the, um, the biggest issue here. And as long as everyone's eating healthy, eating cleanly and building their immunities at home, probiotics all the way. Yeah. Yeah, you won't have a problem.